And welcome back to our special behind the scenes telecast here on Tigers Live. You heard John Hicks talking about the particulars of how he wears his pants at certain times. And one of the threads of this show as we continue to bring it all together is, is how a bat is made. We had an opportunity to visit the Louisville Slugger Museum. And if it was a soap opera, you might call this section as the wood turns. See what he did? So the idea... For every major league player, professional player we make, even the minor leagues, are in this computer. And uh, when we get the ticket, it tells us who, uh, whose bats we're making that particular day. The model that they're using, what the length of weight needs to be at the end, uh, we know which piece of wood to select to put in the machine, and then the computer takes over from there to get it to the right specifications. So today we happen to be making bats for Jamer and Ronnie Rodriguez. Uh, and I think this is Jamer's bat right here. Okay, so we'll see how it comes out. The next thing that Tyler does is called the slope of grain test. Uh, this is required by Major League Baseball. We put a dot of ink on the handle. Uh, then he will take the protractor here, just like a plastic protractor that we all use at 8th grade geometry class. Uh, and he will measure the straightness of the grain, or what is called the slope of the grain. If it is anywhere from perfectly straight, zero to three degrees either direction, it passes the test, which means that the bat will have the integrity to withstand the violent collision of a five and a half ounce sphere being thrown at 95 miles an hour uh, against a 31, 32 ounce piece of wood being swung at 95 to 100 miles an hour. Uh, and it will withstand that. Uh, if it's outside of three degrees, then it fails the test and will become a souvenir bat or something like that. So the question is, did it pass? We're good. We're good. All right, we're good. Same, we're good. All right. No problem. All right, we're going to hold this. Jamie Candelario. Hey, Candy. All right, this is your new wood right here. Not quite finished yet, but feels like there's some power in this one, right? <laughs>